Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Today I have a very exciting video for you. It might look like I'm just in like a black background but I am not. I'm in a freshly plastered room and this video is going to be me showing you a complete room transformation. So I really really hope you enjoy watching. If you do enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more home renovation type vlogs because if you have followed me for a while, you'll know that I am renovating my whole house, so I'll be showing different bits along the way, but today is a bedroom renovation, so just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the room, and it looks really dark, but it's actually not that bad. Um, it's actually really quite a big room, but um, you can see it's all freshly plastered, so it's still drying. The ceiling has dried, so that's ready to be painted. Um, let me just stand in this corner here just to kind of really show you the size of the room. It's quite big but it has very very high ceilings and like really nice gorgeous slopes and the window slopes in so it's just really pretty. Um, we do live in a Victorian house so it's very exciting to be kind of doing it up and having all these little quirks with it. So the plan for this room is to get it painted and then to get furniture for it. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited. So of course, the next thing you will see is us painting it. Right, let's give the worker some coffee. This is how the room's looking. Sort of coming together, Ollie's been working really hard this evening getting it painted, but you can see here like these areas of the wall um, is still wet, so obviously we can't paint that just yet, but it's had its, is it one coat you've done, Ollie? Yeah, so. One mist coat on there, just white. We are just gonna paint it all white. But yeah, I just thought I'd just update you with what we've done today, well, what Ollie's done today. I think really for the rest of this we'll just get the room finished and painted and then I can start showing you like decorating and stuff because I've just ordered all the stuff from Ikea and I'm so excited to show you what I did get from there and to bring this room together. So I think the next clip you will see is the room all finished and painted and then we'll move on to the next part of the vlog. Okay, so room update. We now have a door on, which is looking really nice. It does need the architrave to go around it. And then we have the skirting on, which Ollie uh, did today. So all this skirting's been like freshly fitted. And then he's just started to put down the underlay, which is this cloud nine stuff, ready for the carpet. So it's looking really nice. And then he also today, he's done loads today actually, uh, fitted these spotlights which are just really nice ones um, they're like a silver like a brushed silver around them and they're like a warm white and um, so we've got six of them in the ceiling and then he also did this loft hatch um, and then it's just like gonna have some I think we're gonna put a white architrave around it so it's gonna look a bit better than that that's really good but yeah I'm loving it the door's really nice it's like a nice kind of oak door with a silver handle but it needs to have like oil on it just to make it look a bit darker and also to protect it and then as you can see all the sockets need doing so that will be the next job obviously there's gonna be a light switch here and then we have like sockets just going all the way around the room and then once that's done carpet in and then I can start decorating it which I'm really excited about so today we had our new carpet fitted and it looks so nice. Look how fresh and fluffy that carpet looks. So they're just putting the bed together there, but obviously I'll show you the decor and everything afterwards. Okay, so we have had our first delivery from Ikea. I have this huge cardboard box and this is like, the, it's coming in two shipments. So this is the DPD shipments. I think it's to be all the smaller bits and then like the furniture bits are going to be coming in few more days I think. So anyway, let me show you this look. 
This is all the nice bits as well because this is all like the little bits that make the room come together. So first thing we've got here is a frame. I actually have two of these frames. Uh, these are the Kapang frames and these are 40 by 50 centimetres. So these are going to be going above the bed. I'll show you the pictures that I picked up to go in them in a minute. I think these are about like eight or ten pounds each. So they're really, really good quality frames and a good price. Then I have some nice curtains. These are kind of like, um, I suppose they're like chiffon -y. They're like thin curtains, more like decorative. Uh, these look like that. You can see you get two in a pack and they're in this very, very pale pink colour. They are a little bit pinker than what... I thought they were going to be, to be honest. They're maybe, they look a bit lighter on camera, but in person, they are actually quite pink. And I wasn't, I was more trying to go for like a nude pink, but I think because I haven't got many things this colour, it will look okay. And it is kind of like mixed with white. This is the Hannah Lil collection. And these are 145 centimetres by 250. So they will be ceiling to floor ones. So this is the next thing. It's a really, really nice, little throw it's very um kind of like rustic and durable it's not gonna get like you know it feels like it's gonna last quite well um it is just in this like pale cream color this is called the odd run range and it's 130 by 170 centimeters so i just wanted this to kind of like drape over the end of the bed it's got the nice kind of frilly ends just to give that kind of like boho cheeky sort of style then I have two lamps. Excited about these lamps. They feel extremely light though. These are like supposed to be a bit of a pink lamp. So let's hope that they do match the um scissors. Uh, match the scissors because I'm looking for the scissors. Let's hope that they do match the curtains. So it comes wrapped in tissue. And this is what it looks like. It's a very kind of light pink with, I think it's navy or black little lines on it. Oh, hang on. I think, I think we have to turn the lamp around. I was thinking it looks really short. I'm sure it didn't matter. Okay, I have to go like this. There we go. That's a bit better. I prefer the look of it now. It's a bit taller. Um, so it has the little clicky switch there. And then, yeah, this pink and then it's black here, kind of like a black wood effect um, here, but it feels really nice. And I do like the look of it. I think it's going to go really well with the design of the bedroom. Let's just see the colour up against the curtains. Oh, actually, whoops. I think they actually will look OK together. Um, so I ordered from a different company, actually. Whoops. I ordered from... I usually get all my prints from Desenio, but I wanted to try a different company and I think this one had an offer on, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure there was some kind of voucher. Um, but when you open it up, you get the house outfit, little card here, and then really nice on the back, they have actually handwritten a little note that says, thank you, Rosie. I have two of these, which are just called Silk. They are slightly different, so you have silk one and silk two, but that when you put them together, they just look like silky bed sheets. And then I haven't got three hands, so I can't hold them all up. But then I've got this one to go in the middle. So this is, it was all a dream. So yeah, that's all the bits I've got so far. The next shipment will be coming in a few days. So of course I'll unbox all of that and show you then. So the next clip you'll probably see will be when the next Ikea item arrives. And then that's when everything's here and we can actually get the room all together and you'll finally be able to see the finished room. Okay, so very excited this morning. It has been like probably almost two weeks since the last time that I videoed. And all of the Ikea stuff has arrived this morning, which thank goodness it's taken like a month to arrive so that's been really nice that it has arrived so um today i'm going to be finishing the room off i'm going to be building everything getting everything in place and the room should be pretty much finished unless there's anything else i decide to buy for it but furniture and everything's all ready here so you can see this um chest of drawers behind me here i don't think i've showed this yet 
But um, this chest of drawers was actually already with the house when we moved in and it is actually a beautiful pine chest of drawers. It's very, very old and really high quality. Not like the pine stuff you get these days, but like a really nice one. It has lovely feet on it and I just absolutely love it. So I wanted to keep this piece of furniture, especially it's nice to keep something that was originally with the house before we started obviously renovating everything. So yeah, we're gonna keep this in here and it's gonna go with the theme really well. I think we're gonna start building the other bits now. Oh, the desk that you're on. I think you might have seen a clip from George actually building the desk, but let me show you that. So this desk is actually the only thing that isn't from Ikea and this was actually from Wayfair and it's really nice. So you've got like the um, wooden, uh, sorry, you've got the metal frame and then the top is this kind of like wooden color. Um, and it's just really nice. It's a really wide desk as well. So great for like actually putting your computer and everything on it. Okay, so I think this one and the box underneath are the bedside tables. So I'm gonna start by putting these together, I think. Okay, so all finished and I'm so happy with it. I cannot wait to show you around and let you know where everything is from, but this is kind of how it's looking so far. So now what I'll do is just take you around the room and show you each thing and then just talk a little bit of where it's from. I won't go on too much because I do not know how long this video already is, but I've been filming it over the last, well, month, two months. So let's get to it. Welcome to our spare room. <laughs> Okay, so as you walk in, you can see firstly the bed. The bed is actually, we've had quite a long time. It's probably about four or five years old and it was actually from Dreams, um, but it is just a wooden white bed. Uh, the bedding on it, I think was actually from Sainsbury's, but maybe a couple of years ago. So it's not new bedding, but it is just like a white with a gray pattern on it. Um, the blanket here is a very, very thin throw and this is from Ikea and I think it was only around about £12, but as you can see it's a very thin one, but I liked it, kind of that natural material. I really like the look of it and it's quite like robust. Um, I have these two cushions which are also from Ikea and they're really nice. So I bought the duck feather um, inserts and then I got the cushion covers separately and I think altogether they worked out at about maybe five pounds 
for the insert and then five pound for the actual cover so like 10 pound for a cushion which is really good because i'm finding like cushion prices are really expensive so there wasn't many different patterns in ikea but the quality of them is really nice so let's have a look at this here i did talk about this a little bit earlier in the video so i won't go on about it but this is just a chest of drawers very very old and i just love it for this kind of style of room it kind of makes it look a little bit more boho and goes with the house a bit more because the house is very old um, up here we have a shelf. This shelf is from Ikea. Um, then I have this gorgeous little vase here which is from M&S and I just love it. It's kind of like cream with like the beige pattern on it. And then moving along we've got the Goji Berry Rituals Reed Diffuser and this is really nice. These um, private collection Reed Diffusers from Rituals are really good. And then this one, which you've probably seen before, um, this is just from Ikea. I think everybody seems to have one of these somewhere in their house, but they're just like a fake hanging plant and they, I think they look really effective. So then we'll go on to the bedside tables. Um, these are also from Ikea. They're actually metal, but they're like a white metal and then they have this concrete effect top on them. They were only £25 each, so really, really good price. And I think they look really effective. I'm not going to lie, they don't feel like the best quality thing, but for 25 quid, it's a good price. Um, the lamps are also from Ikea. They have a black wooden base and then the top is actually pink with this little kind of markings in it. I'll just turn it off so you can see what it looks like. The colour is a bit more of a mauve pink. These are only £10, maybe £15 each, but I'll link everything down below. Um, so yeah, really good price and really effective. Then moving on to my favourite part of the room, which is my like pictures. Um, the frames are all from Ikea and the prints are from the house outfit but I went for this silk one and silk two so they are actually two different silk pictures but they work really nicely together and I just thought this print in the middle would be so nice and it has the same mauve colour as the lamps and it says it was all just a dream and of course is a bedroom so I felt like the silk sheets and this dream poster made like a really nice kind of relaxed environment for the bedroom. So I went for the black frame in the middle just to match the black uh, curtain rail that I've gone for um, up on the curtains. So I wanted that to kind of match in together and for the frame to also match in with the bases of the lamps as well. So it's kind of bringing a little bit of black in. So the curtains, they're very, very thin kind of like um, canvassy chiffon -y curtains they're not thick so they're not going to um kind of block the light out but they're just there to add a bit of warmth to the room and a bit of color and yeah they're really nice um they are a lot pinker than what they looked like online online they were going to be more of a nude pink but they are a little bit more of a girly pink so I still like them and I think they look really nice with the black but they are a little bit pinker than how they look online. I uh, went for the 250 length one so they go down to the floor and they just drizzle a bit on the carpet I love that look. So then moving around here this is actually going to be my brother's room he does live with us so he's very lucky and he's had his whole room done up. Um, this is his computer so that's why there's a computer here. Um, the desk that the computer's on is actually from Wayfair and it's a really nice desk. It's very nice and wide, so as you can see, he's into all his computer stuff. Hence why this is in the video, because George wanted everybody to see his computer. Uh, so yeah, that um, fits on there really nicely. You can see everything's quite wide and it's comfortable. So then moving around here, now this was the challenge of the bedroom. Um, a big challenge because I wanted it to be kind of like a bit of an open wardrobe but I was doing it on a budget so I went for this rail here which you basically fit in between two wardrobes or you can fit against the wall well unfortunately I made a mistake with my ordering and this is what it's designed to fit on this depth one but I also bought this one here which I thought was the same depth but it's not so this is kind of bits hanging here and there's a gap at the back um, and that's just to stop it rubbing against the wall. But that can all be fixed. It's just kind of temporary at the minute. But I still think it looks really nice if you just don't get too close to it. So on this one here, I have these two baskets. They're both from the range. They were 9 99 each. And they're a really nice wicker basket. And I just thought that adds a little bit more texture into the room. 
And then down here, we have these baskets here, which are from Ikea and they're designed to fit into this space here. So they're really handy just to put everything out the way. And then, like I said, you have the rail here. So this is only about 12 pounds, this rail. So it is a good alternative if you don't want to spend too much money on a full wardrobe. But I would say it, it you know, it feels like 12 pounds. It's not that great quality. The hangers are all from Ikea as well. And then this is also from Ikea. This comes as a whole package. And I think it was 60 pounds for the frame, the shelves and the door. It's got kind of like small shelves in it and it matches with the bedside tables with the concrete effect top. So I really liked that. And then talking about the concrete effect top, we are moving on to the last thing in the room, which is the full length mirror. And again, this just finished off with the concrete effect. And I just love how it all matches together and looks with the carpet as well. So I'm really happy with how the room, oh, do you like it too, Dylan? Come here then. I'm so happy with how the room's come out. And it's actually kind of designed with the pink bits to go alongside the bathroom. So I'll quickly just show you what it looks like when you look at the bathroom and the bedroom together, because they do match in really well. So you can see the bathroom there has a few touches of pink in it, like with the tiles and the floor mats. And then if we then look into the bedroom, the colors do merge quite nicely together with the pink curtains and then the pink around the bed and on the prints. So I feel like this all works really nicely. So that is the room tour all finished. I really hope you've enjoyed the transformation. I'm sorry if the video has been really long. I'm gonna try and edit it down to the most interesting parts. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about or bought, you want to know a bit more about it, then please leave me a comment down below. And also leave me a comment down below of anything you think that I could get which would improve it or anything that you like, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.